Okay, let me explain to you about sanity testing. And then I am gonna give several examples about it. Sanity testing is performed to quickly evaluate whether a new build or release of an application is stable enough for further testing. So the purpose of sanity testing is to check if the application is behaving as expected after a small set of changes. And also it is performed to ensure that critical functionalities are working as intended. Sanity testing helps to ensure that the critical functionalities of the software are working as expected and that no major issues exist. Sanity testing is done to quickly evaluate whether a software application is functioning properly after minor changes or updates. Sanity testing is a, actually a subset of regression testing and it is often performed after a build or release of an application to, to determine whether further testing is required. So it is a quick and cursor check to ensure that the major functionality of the application is working as expected. The goal of sanity testing is not to perform an exhaustive test of the system, but rather to quickly identify any major defects or issues that could prevent further testing. Sanity testing can be automated or performed manually, and it typically involves running a small set of tests that cover the most critical functionalities of the application. If the sanity test passes, further testing can be performed to validate the functionality of the system in more detail. But if the sanity test fails, it indicates that there are major issues with the build and further testing should be postponed until the issues are resolved or sorted out. Now, I want to give some examples about sanity testing. For example, after fixing a minor bug, a sanity test is performed to check whether the bug has been resolved and if any new issues have been introduced. Or let me give another example about sanity testing. After a software upgrade, a sanity test is conducted to ensure that the basic functionalities of the application are working fine. Another example is about after adding new features to an application, a sanity test is performed to make sure that the new features do not affect the existing, existing features negatively. And also another example is after changing the configuration settings of the application, a sanity test is also conducted why? to verify that the application still functions as expected. After a major release of an application, also a sanity test can be performed to verify that the critical functionalities of the application are still working as expected. Another example is after integrating two or more software applications, a sanity test is implemented to ensure that the integration did not cause any major issues. To sum up, sanity testing is a quick and efficient way to ensure that software applications are functioning properly after minor changes or updates. I think these are all about sanity testing. Thank you so much.